Welcome to the next video of our complete engine rebuild guide. In this one we will unhook and remove the carburetor. In today's video we will take a look at what tools we need to complete this job, a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete it, and in the end we will do a hardware roundup to make sure that we do not lose any of our precious hardware. To make following the content easier you can pause this video at any moment. That said, let's take a look at what tools we need. For today's job, we will need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet driver, an 11 millimeter socket, a magnet, which is optional, a 10 millimeter box wrench, and a pick or a hook of some sorts if needed. With our tools ready, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide on how to get this job done. Start by taking off the engine side cowl. This way we have access to the engine. Make sure your fuel is in the off position and you can pull the air bellow off and remove the carburetor box cover by loosening these two bolts. Now remove the carburetor box cover and you have access to the air filter as well as this rubber buffer that protects the idle screw. You can remove it. Next up we will loosen up the air filter by removing these two bolts. You can leave the idle screw in there, just slide the air filter over the idle screw and pull it out. Now that we have access to the carburetor, it's time to unhook the choke as well as the throttle cable. You can pull the choke and then use a screwdriver to block the choke mechanism and push the choke back in. And that way it makes it super easy to unhook the choke cable. The throttle cable with a little bit of pressure can be loosened with tension and then with a small pick or a hook it can pop right out. With the cables off it is time to take care of the oil and fuel line. So we loosen the collar on the oil line and pull it off. If your tank is full it will start dribbling oil slowly. You can avoid that by taking either one of the screws that just came off or any other M5 screw and push it into the line. In our case the oil tank is empty so we don't need this step. Now loosen the fuel line collar clamp and push it down. Sometimes you get lucky and the fuel line slides right off. In this case it is stuck on there so we need to remove the banjo. Easiest way to loosen the banjo bolt is with an M10 wrench and then use a rag to capture any fuel that's gonna be running out. Remove the bolt and free the banjo from the carburetor. A little trick is to use one of the bolts from the carburetor cover and put it through the banjo as it gives you a nice little T to put pressure on the banjo, twist it and it will pop right out. Behind the air bellow you have access to the fuel line which you can push and pull out of the carburetor box. Again use a rag as there will be a little bit of spill from leftover fuel in the line. And with that our entire carburetor and carburetor box are detached. If at this point you want to remove the carburetor, which is not necessary, you can use a 11 millimeter socket and loosen both carburetor bolts. To remove the bolts, the magnet comes in handy, but make sure when you pull it out that you get both the lock washer as well as the washer on the carburetor. Now you can try and pull the carburetor out, but sometimes you run into the situation where the idle air mix screw blocks the way for the carburetor to come all the way out. So with a long screwdriver, we can simply untighten the air mix screw 
and when it's all the way out we can simply remove the carburetor and don't forget to pick up the air mix screw at this point everything fuel and intake related is detached from the motor before we put away the hardware let's make sure we have everything the parts that we are left with is the carburetor cover the two m5 long bolts that hold the cover down as well as the air filter and its screws those are both m5 and the lock washer as well as the rubber buffer that goes on the idle screw for the fuel system there's the banjo bolt the fuel line collar the bolt that holds the banjo on as well as the oil line collar if you took the entire carburetor out you are left with the idle adjustment screw if you had to take it out as well as the two bolts holding the carburetor down with their lock washers and flatten washers Thank you for watching, click here to get to the next video in this series, don't forget to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and if you like this, you can support us on Patreon, the link is in the description down below, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.